Welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Condor Cypher jeans. So I picked these up for $65 Canadian plus tax. Um, so when it comes to jeans, that's not too bad. Um, they're made in China. They're made out of 97% cotton and 3% spandex, or as they like on the label, they call it elastine. It comes in two colors, being the blue black that you see here, and they also do an indigo. Um, which is like a lighter blue color and they're considered a tactical jean uh, just because they have some features on them but they're like a covert tactical jean something that you can wear outdoors and people won't realize that you know you might be carrying a pistol or magazines on you for an m4 and they're meant to just uh, so you don't draw attention to you uh, unlike some of like tactical pants with the big cargo pockets and everything just scream tactical right all right, so uh, let's start off from the front. So on the front, it comes with a YKK zipper, your standard button. It has two front, very deep pockets. And then on the right-hand side, you got your change, lighter, small utility knife. You can put that in there. It's actually pretty deep. Um, usually they're a little bit smaller on elder jeans, but this one's got a fair size. Uh, Along the top here has elastic bands in the waistband. Uh, this is for if you're concealing a pistol holster um, so that you got that little bit extra give to be able to fit that in there. Uh, also, I like it because I fluctuate between weight. So having that little bit extra stretch on the hips and just the snugness of it, I like that. Um, so that's a nice feature. The belt loops. Are, I measure them, they're basically two inches, but it'd be pretty tight if you try to do a two inch belt. It's probably a 1.75 inch belt that would fit in here perfectly. At the crotch area, it is gusseted. So basically they've added extra material in here. You can see the shape in here. And that just gives for just extra room down there for movement and such. All right, so moving to the back. Got two big back pockets. So very, very deep and decent. I like the fact that on the whole pant, uh, this is the only logo that's on the pant. So, you know, not a lot of design on them. I don't like it with all the new rips and everything that they got on them. I just like a nice pair of jeans. And then the tactical part, or well, another tactical feature of it, because you have the stretchy waistband um, for the pistol holsters is the fact that along here where it looks like just a standard seam, uh, you have this extra pocket in here on both sides. So that's for like an M4 mag if you wish. And it will fit in there. You can have your shirt over top of that and you won't be sitting on it because this would be your back area. This is sort of on the side here. And you can also carry a cell phone if you wish, a smaller one. I tried to use my uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 Neo in here with the Otter Box, and with the Otter Box on it, it will not fit in this back pocket here. Next is the material. It's very sturdy, and it, these pants are a two-way stretch, so they do stretch from left to right, horizontal, but vertically they don't stretch, so this is why they call it a two-way stretch. And another thing I noticed is I bought a 30 inch length pant and these are actually, I measured them and they're like a 34. I don't mind that because when it comes to pants and sometimes when you buy them, they call them a 30 and they're a little bit too short. With these, um, you know, I can wash them a couple times. They'll uh, shrink down a little bit. And I noticed that even on the first wash that I've done to them, they've shrunk down a little bit. Um, that you can hem them to the size that you want. So that's perfect. I'd rather hem my pants and actually have them fit properly than to be too short. So that's a good thing. They do that with a lot of the more expensive pants, like my guest jeans. Uh, they always come with that extra material so that you can hem them and actually fit them to your size because everybody's legs are a different size, right? So, all right. And then uh, finally, it's just uh, the quality inside. I think they're well sewn. I think. Personally, they might have wanted to use maybe a little bit of that anti-fray liquid that they use on jeans when they're hemming them and stuff, like along these edges, they should use the anti-fray liquid. But other than that, I think they're pretty good. 
And then finally, um, these are the jeans. They do make the cipher pant. The cipher pant, and I've noticed that there seems to be people talking about it and they're always saying that these are a skinny jean. These are not a skinny jean. The cipher pant that they make out of the nylon and spandex, those have a more tapered leg and those are the ones that are skinny. When it comes to these ones, these are a straight leg. So just for comparison, I'll, uh, I got some other pants here. I'll just throw it down over here like this. So this would be your boot cut, which is really wide. This is a straight leg, and this isn't even a skinny jean here. This is your uh, slim tapered. So as you can see, it's not skinny, but when you look at my straight leg pants, the blue ones, you'll see that that's the same dimensions across. So they are a straight leg and they're smaller than the boot cut. So just so everybody knows that they're not a skinny jean. I've noticed multiple people mention that on YouTube channels and stuff and they're making jokes about it. But overall, they are a straight leg. So, uh, thanks for watching my video. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. Uh, hopefully the audio was good and just the... Uh, I changed up some things. I'm using a tripod and I'm using a Bluetooth uh, headset with a microphone to hook up to the camera I'm using right now. So I hope uh, the quality is half decent because this is my first uh, video uh, that I've done with this new equipment. So have a great week, have a great day, and take care.